This is the first time that we've uh, come to World Time Attack. And we've brought a R32 GDR Skyline. Yeah, it's making good growth. We made 555 rear wheel kilowatts. BC Automotive, we're located in Victoria, Lilydale. A small shop, a couple of teams, there's three of us in the team. Um, a lot of our background is in tuning and uh, race car preparation. So we do a bit of a combination of, of building vehicles, Aussie muscle cars, Monaros, that sort of stuff. Um, but we also prep and build yeah, a number of race cars. Um, and yeah, Time Attack, we are interested in the Time Attack and that's sort of what led us to build the, the 32. Being our first time here, um, you know, we've sort of come up to find out what the event's all about. We've followed it pretty heavily you know, on the social media side of things. But we've come up here to find out what the racing's about, where the competition's at, um, and sort of what we need to do as a team in a business to be competitive. Um, yeah, and ultimately we've come up here to put a good time down. Uh, we tested last Wednesday prior to coming up here and um, had some really good results. We managed to crack 300 kilometres an hour at Phillip Island, you know, which is fairly, um, fairly impressive. Hitting 300 kilometres an hour at Sydney Motorsport Park requires some serious power. Providing it is an RB26, strengthened and stroked thanks to a Nitto 2.8 litre stroker kit. A dry sump system, N1 water pump and PWR coolers keep it alive. Boost comes from a Precision 6466 sitting on a 6 boost manifold with the upgraded fuel and ignition systems controlled by the Motec M800. A PPG dog engagement gear set with Hollinger flat shift gear knob and Exidy twin plate clutch transfer that power to the ground. And underneath, it's teen coilovers, custom sway bars, a host of adjustable arms, plus some little tricks. AP racing brakes sit inside the 18 by 10 and a half inch TE37 wheels and aero and bodywork were all custom made or modified. Inside, it's all business stripped and caged with a MoTeC digital dash. It all seems quite simple, but the package most certainly works. Uh, today, good day, first time here. Um, so what we've done today is gone out, we did a half a lap in the first session, it was red flag, so we um, just took a bit of data from that, went out the next session, we got a good lap in, um, we did a 33 flat, which has put us um, put us a second ahead of the vision car, the GoPro car, it's kind of where we want to be. Um, had a bit of an issue with the selector in the gearbox, so we're now just going to um, shoot across one of the boys' workshops, pull that out, sort that out. We know what it is, so we'll fix it, back here tomorrow, get out in the morning early, cold, smash out a pretty good time, I hope.
I had a pretty rough morning. We are pretty quick yesterday. Um, had some dramas this morning with the car. Never got a lap in the first two sessions. Little things. We had an ignition coil fail. Um, gear selection problems yesterday. But a bit worried about the track going off in the afternoon. And we'd already used our green tyres this morning. But I um, psyched myself up a bit on the way down the straight. A bit of yelling at myself and all that. And uh, pumped out an OK lap and uh, I was counting down on the way down the straight watching the timer on the dash and uh, 31.7 came out so can't ask more than that, it was enough to do the job so pretty happy. For the time of day and used tyres I didn't think it would have done that or I could have done that but um, no, nah, she's a rocket. We were third, um, done a 33.0 uh, so we we're a fair way behind the win uh, but to pull that out and to get for the guys to get the car going that well it's just been amazing so as our first time here, even as a spectator, never been here, and to take it out like that against this competition, we're absolutely stoked. Just, I'm a mechanic who's always worked on race cars and had my own race cars, but um, working at BC Automotive and having Steve Arnorellis own the car, he's a customer of ours, and uh, let me drive the car. So um, we put a big effort in to get it here. And, um, a couple of times we thought we weren't going to make it, and uh, here we are, we won it. So um, yeah, stoked.